So I'm here at Borla's R&D facility in Oxnard, California, and what you see in front of me here is the stock rear section from a 27 Bronco. Behind me I have our 27 with our exhaust system on it. So I'm going to show you the stock rear section first, and then we'll move over and look at what we did on the vehicle. Um, I thought I'd start in this position because it gives you a good shot of the inlet. The muffler is actually oriented in the opposite direction. I'm going to turn it around in a minute. but this is the inlet it looks like it was cut but it wasn't it comes like this from the factory there's a factory clamp on here uh, we reused the factory clamp and um, as i've mentioned before in some of our other videos we try not to go into the side of the can like this for durability purposes we offer a million mile warranty we really want to come in through the end cap so i'm going to show you that on our system in a minute and uh, now i'm going to turn this rear section around to orient it properly so this is how it would be on the vehicle in this position here. And uh, you get a really good look at a lock seam. If you've never seen a lock seam muffler before, have you ever wondered what this is? This is a lock seam. This is how they construct the muffler. This would be instead of a weld. Uh, obviously the Borla mufflers are gonna be fully welded and that helps with durability as well. But um, I think one of the most important things to point out on this system is this hanger here because it's, uh, it's very visible from the rear of the vehicle. When the vehicle's on the ground, you kind of see this hanger hanging below. And we thought that we could improve upon that look. It doesn't look so great hanging like that. We wanted to get it tucked up under, under the bumper. So now let's go over and take a look at what we did on the 2.7 with our system. As I had mentioned earlier, we're reusing the stock clamp on the inlet, but we want the Borla inlet to come in through the end cap as opposed to the side of the muffler. So that's what we've done here. It's a single inlet muffler with a dual outlet so that we could get this look of two different tips. We've tucked everything up really tight so you get excellent clearance with this system. And in order to do that, we had to move that hanger that I was talking about earlier to get it up tucked inside the, the bumper, which also uh, makes it less visible or not visible at all. So you no longer see that isolator hanging right here. And we offer three different sound levels for this vehicle, touring, S-type, and attack, as well as two different finishes, a fully black finish, including the muffler and all the piping and the tips, or a stainless steel finish like you see here. We offer a million mile warranty. It's fully constructed of T304 stainless steel. Between the three different sound levels and the two different finish options, really gives you the opportunity to make your Bronco sound and look how you want.